Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. Today, guys, of course, we're checking out the newest episode of Titan Season 3. This is Titan Season 3, Episode 9, Souls. Really good title. I have a theory. I may be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. But what I've learned about Titan Season 3 as I've been watching these episodes is that the titles are very important. Now, I know for the majority of shows that are out there, titles are important. But sometimes they just give a title just to give a title. But what I've learned about Titan Season 3 specifically is that the titles matter sometimes like the titles are not actually the whole point of the episode like lady vic she was in the episode but really wasn't in it a whole lot but in terms of last episode home all about jason wanting to come home and to be a titan again and all that kind of stuff and that was the majority of the story of that episode souls i think this is donna i think this is donna i think i don't know I could be wrong, but we've been patiently waiting because we know where Raven has been this whole time. And they've made small references here and there, but we have not seen Raven. We saw Dawn in that one little brief little cameo in that uh, episode a few weeks back. Maybe it was longer than a few weeks back, but yeah. So maybe, maybe we're finally getting it. And watch me be wrong. I don't know, but I think I may be right because we've been waiting for quite a while for this we've, we've seen brief glimpses of raven and all that kind of stuff and donna in the trailer haven't seen them in the show yet in terms of them actually focusing on it you know so we'll see and i know they drop promo images and stuff i think they drop promo images like the day before the episodes now i avoid those so if you're wondering we well, probably saw the promo images no i haven't i avoid those because i want to jump into these episodes as blind as i can and so i avoid promo images because sometimes they reveal stuff because the promo images they released last week before last week's episode showed tim drake in wayne manor with dick grayson so i'm glad that i didn't see that beforehand so anyways let's get into this episode now guys and see what it's all about and see if i'm right or wrong who knows let's get into now episode nine home and home pff, souls <laughs> it's early in the morning let's go I really wish they weren't showing this again, but I guess they have to, but I'm right. At least I think. Hey, Bruce. What's he doing? What's going on? Okay. His last will. I'm so glad we're getting to this now, finally. What the f oh boy. Yeah, keep that under control. You call this place paradise, but I don't get it. Mm. I've been here for months. Yes. All I do is train, and you know I can do more. What the hell? Nothing to worry about. It can take a while. Look, man. You're gonna have to give me some answers. What is going on? Wait. Is he dead? Oh, what? This is why she's really here. I mean, we kind of knew, but this is why she's doing all the training and stuff just to try to help Donna. Is someone. Yep, yeah. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, there's the fuck? Oh my god. Looks like we got some catching up to do. That's awesome. Okay, that's cool. The ritual of Ordigi has been disrupted. Given oh. that the blasphemy Her. has caused an imbalance. I propose that Rachel be allowed. I wasn't committing blasphemy. No. You have no proof that what I did hurt Donna or her soul's transmigration. I, yeah, this is true. You don't know. Please reach out. He's passed out. <laughs> uh, maybe the next Robin, who knows? All the way down to Hades. And you don't come back from that. Hades. Talk about the elephant in the room? Don't worry about it. Jason's a prick. I love how he said that. Yeah, Jason. Jason's always been fucked up. Strapped a bomb to my chest and... Kaboom! <laughs> she must be devastated. She better be. 
She better be. <laughs> that was a good answer. She better be devastated. It's interesting how Tim doesn't know he's talking to Wonder Girl and Hawk. I wonder if he's going to slowly figure it out or if they're just going to tell him. This all does seem pretty strange. Yeah. yeah. A little strange. Maybe it's all happening for a reason. Because of him. So Eat. The kid wants to go back, huh? The Titans were having real problems when I died. Mm -hmm. Jason's coming after them, too. Well, not at the moment. I mean, here's my help. Things are going on. Use yours. The legend is that it was built by a hero of our tribe. Long Hero. Now, to represent the human soul. Even if we could. Wait, you're telling me you wouldn't jump at the chance to go back down there and hand Jason the Yeah. Head? I mean. Is that what this is about? Yeah, it is. Just, it is. You're goddamn right it's about You're goddamn right. You blew me up. I had a lot of rope left. And so did I. Well, then accept that there's a possibility you, you can continue on the road of living. I died at a carnival, Hank. A carnival. <laughs> that was terrible writing. Bad. You can show us how bad it made sense to them. You shouldn't have had to die to do it. We spent whole lives on a hamster wheel, running hard but not making much ground. I want to move forward. Not backward. There's nothing next for you, though, unfortunately. Who knows? Maybe I'll come back as a clownfish. Who? Oh. Okay. No, which is unfortunate. They should be fighting more. I thought we'd fight a lot more. When I was a teen, and in the case of my daughter, I became unsure as to whom I was attempting to do it for. That's interesting. Okay. You are Donna Troy, aren't you? Did you prank call? Yeah. You figured it out. Yes. Uh, I know about Dick Grayson, too. I know he's Nightwing. And I know about Starfire and Beast Boy. Who was shot in the back. Nice scarecrow. All I ever wanted was to be a hero. And you, you have a chance. You have an opportunity with the bridge and becoming it's Robin. You know, if we end up back on Earth, there's no guarantee it's going to work out any different. I mean, you, know you don't know. Right. You don't know until you try. Hmm. Something's going to happen. Right? <laughs> it was close. You were so close. Was that the result you were hoping for? Maybe. Perhaps the house has been restored. But ever since I died, I have, I've been getting in touch with my spiritual side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you know what? Forget it. If you picture something you really want, you can really focus your mind. You on can it. get it? Shouldn't they stay in the car? I mean, they found the location, uh, supposedly there's a tree, but like, shouldn't you stay in the car? Bridge. They're all on the bridge. Oh, come on. Cream soda. <laughs> really? That's awesome. Okay, this makes no sense. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yes. Watch your back. <laughs> uh oh. Tim, come on. The lasso. Hey, come on. Come on, Hank. Jump. Come on. I really, I, I just felt something was going to happen, you know? The bridge is gone. Hey! Maybe this place can use itself a little dove and hawk. Uh, dove and hawk. Hawk and dove. I think you mean hawk and dove. Yeah. That's what you mean. Actually, no, I mean dove and hawk. Where'd she go? What are you doing? What? 
are you doing? Seriously? You were about to be. There you have it, guys. Wow. Okay. I'm really happy with this episode. I'm really happy as well that I was right about the reasoning behind the title and who it's referencing and everything. But it wasn't called Soul. It was called Souls. And it makes more sense because we're not just talking about Donna Troy's soul. We're talking about Donna's, Hank's, and Tim's soul in this episode. And them trying to basically come to terms of what happened and trying to find a way back. And they do. And I was expecting along the way as the episode was continuing that Hank was not going to make it back. For some reason, I just thought, I just don't think it's going to happen. Because Hank exploded. I don't know how he could have came back. Who knows? I don't know. But if he would have crossed that bridge, what would have happened? No clue. But with Donna and Tim, it makes more sense because their bodies are still intact, essentially. So I don't know how that would have worked with Hank. I have no clue. But it was nice to see him, and it was surprising to learn that Tim actually died. Because I was theorizing last week after he got shot that he was just going to pull through and everything, and this was going to um, motivate him more to become a hero. Because he even mentioned it in this episode, but no, he died. So maybe this is even more of a motivation because he actually died. And he was standing alongside Hank and Donna, and they were defending him, and they were fighting and all this stuff. These ghouls or whatever, these you know soul eaters or whatever soul catcher soul stealers whatever to go to hades and um i think it's been more motivated now to become the next robin i don't think it's going to happen this season i could be wrong though but uh we'll see but yeah i was really happy with this episode so we finally get to see rachel raven we finally get to see her i have been patiently waiting not really patiently i've been like come on because i love raven as a character and i really do like rachel's portrayal of the character even though in the past the writing hasn't been the best for all these characters but i feel like in my, in my personal opinion, and I'm just speaking for myself, I cannot speak for you, um, I feel like they've been writing these characters better. So I really like the approach they did with this episode and her training there, but her real purpose there is to try to help Donna. And ultimately, she really didn't help Donna per se. It was actually Donna herself that went along the ride, which Donna's been dead for a long time. Why was she on the same train as Tim? I don't understand that, but Okay, I guess they had to find a way to get them uh, in the same place. And then, of course, who's out there driving around and stuff is Hank. But it, it was good. It was good. You know, sometimes logic needs to be there for the scripts and for the story to kind of make sense. But in in this, I don't know how they could have made it not so obvious that they're putting them all together that quick and everything. But it, it was kind of, you know, like uh, they're just... They're just making it work, even though logistically it probably wouldn't make Because how many souls are actually there around in that area, you know? So, I mean, them running into each other is a very low possibility, but I guess this is the one chance throughout the whole multiverse or whatever that this would happen, I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to make sense of it all. They, of course, had to address... Because they said the elephant in the room, which, of course, Donna was referring to that Hank is dead. And I love Jason fucking Todd. He's still Hank. <laughs> Even though he's been getting more into his spiritual side, but he's still Hank. He's Jason fucking Todd. But the other elephant in the room that they actually showed in previously on Titans to kind of hint at what's happening here, showing the outcome of the season two finale, aka Donna's death, they had to talk about it. They First, they had to show it, of course, but they had to talk about it. And I love how when she was talking about, I died at a carnival. It's like, it's absurd. It is so ridiculous, and I think that's where a lot of people decided to stop watching the show. I hope they've picked it back up, because I feel like this this, this season has definitely improved. Um, I feel like they're, they're definitely, at least for me, have a better handle on these characters, but that's just me. Okay, I can't speak for everybody else's approach to the show and everything and how they respond to uh, how they're telling the stories, but it was a bad ending, and it was a terrible death for Donna, you know? She made that point very clear, and they made sure to make that point very clear that she is so frustrated with what happened, and that's why she didn't want to go back, because why would you after that point? And she, but her saying that us saving lives didn't make a difference, it did for the people people's lives you saved. Like, if you wouldn't have saved their lives, they wouldn't be able to continue on their path. So I, I feel like with her notion of that we didn't we didn't change anything, you did for those people that you saved. You know, I feel like she could have thought more on that, but it is what it is. So 
I like how Hank had to kind of explain things about what's happening in the world because he pulled out those guns, like, oh, you, you, you better pass around those guns. He's like, it's not really, like, that doesn't work that way. <laughs> and so I like how they showed the guns and they killed the ghouls. And then he had to explain that if you really think hard and really think about it, you can make stuff appear. And so they do that on the bridge and <laughs> she pulls out uh, soda, which was a great little nod uh, to, I think it was Aquaman and uh, Aqualad, not Aquaman, Aqualad in season two, the flashback episode. And then she pulls out the sword and the lasso it was so good. And then for him, he pulls out Robin throwing stars, the little R's. He's like, and then he pulls out nunchucks. He can't fucking use them. That's funny as hell. But I, I kind of figured he wasn't going to go back. The the body exploding thing. But I just had a feeling the way they were setting it up that Hank is just never going to come back. And what I think was the best way to go about him not returning and him not coming back to life is the fact that Donnie, the original Dove, is there. And he's dressed up in the old garb of what they used to wear back when they first started Hawk and Dove all those years ago. And they need to save some souls that are being hunted by these ghouls. And it's like, so Hawk and Dove still lives on in the after or, or in, you know, in the next thing, whatever that thing, I guess they could call it purgatory. I'm not really sure, but wherever that next place is that they're at. And it's just cool how it's black and white. That's kind of cool. How it was all black and white. Um, the whole uh, scenery, the, everything was just black and white in that world that they were in. That was kind of cool. It was a nice change to kind of show us, like, hey, we're not, you know, we're not alive. We're not on Earth right now. So that was good. But it was a nice touch for that because we know that a version of Hawk and Dove are around in that sense. So that's that's kind of neat because um, I don't think we're going to see Dove. We're not going to see Dawn ever again, I don't think. Maybe, maybe we will. I don't know. I just have a feeling the way they kind of set it up is that Hawk and Dove have been around, and I think at one point they were talking about a spinoff for the two characters, and it just didn't end up happening. And maybe it's to a point to where they're trying to exit out certain characters so that they can bring in more characters. So, like, you know, exit some, bring in some new ones to kind of switch up the roster and everything, kind of switch up the, the people's stories you're following. So I can, get, I can kind of see why. And also, too, it, it still keeps Hank's death impactful to the story for Season 3 because if he was brought back after his death was a major game changer in episode three of this season that pretty much like blew everybody away, blew everybody away. You get my point. It was definitely shocking. Um, shocking Donna. Jesus Christ. See all the fucking puns. <laughs> but you get my point. Last thing we should talk about. Well, besides the fact that Raven was training and everything, that was really cool. And they were kind of questioning her powers, but, uh, but the last thing I was going to talk to is about Bruce, but we'll get to that in a second. I want to, make sure I'm covering up the whole Raven stuff a little bit more. I like the idea of her trying to rebuild this, this like rock formation that was built by a hero back before time, before history was, I guess, written about where the, about, about, I, I don't know, but Raven had to put the stones back and she used her powers and it, it was there. And then it crumbled. I think that was a, it was a nice lesson. And I, and I, I didn't know what to expect with her being away for so long and trying to help Donna. I, I don't know. I just get, I didn't expect her to be training there, but I guess it makes sense. If you're there and you're trying to help bring Donna back to life, cause that's what they're trying to do as well. I guess, I guess it makes sense for her to train as well. But, but it was cool that she's about to leave and then she kind of senses something's going on. Um, and then Donna's gone. Her body is gone. Uh, but we'll get to the ending in a second because, but Bruce is away and he drafted up his last will and testament of Bruce Wayne. Now, I I, I probably could pause it and read through. I'm, I'm guessing some people have already posted it online and stuff so people can read through it. Maybe we can see what exactly is in the will and testament. But the fact that he got it drafted up and I was like, okay, so what the hell is going to happen here? And he starts burning down his that mansion on the side of the cliff he starts burning it down i'm like what are you doing and i'm like thinking okay so they're gonna have to do something here right and then donna saves him i don't understand how she would know he was there i don't know like i i I hope they maybe explain somehow explain that she knew he was there i don't know because she just came back but now that he's not dead, I hope that she takes him back to Gotham or they go back to Gotham and then he finds out. 
By the way, when you kill Joker because of Jason's death, yeah, Jason's alive. He's called himself Red Hood. I wonder how that's gonna. I wonder how, how that's going to affect Bruce. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's not good. It's not good. But I really enjoyed what they did with this episode and how they were going about basically bringing us Donna back and Tim as well, which I was surprised by. But I guess you know it made more sense for him to go through potentially dying for good and him coming back of course to finally realize i can be more so they're gonna run into each other yeah yeah because even though he's he told to hank and donna you know that he knows who they are and he knows about you know nightwing and all that kind of stuff she thinks that maybe she won't see him again who knows but i yeah they'll see each other again oh yeah 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 so what you guys think of this episode of titan season three i overall really enjoyed it and uh, i'm curious to see where we go from here because especially with that ending with bruce not dying Hopefully he finds out because I I thought they I think they had messaged him at one point or sent a message that they hope that he listened to I don't think he did though that Jason unless he's he was killing he was trying to burn down the mansion because he found out that Jason is alive and he killed the Joker for nothing he 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 broke for nothing maybe maybe we'll find that out who knows anyways whatever thoughts you guys have about this episode I'm curious to know your thoughts guys whatever thoughts you have let me know in the comments below I hope you guys enjoyed the video I will talk to you guys soon peace out.